Hello, my Dolly friends. It is Gina, and I had long time no see. I am back from my cruise. Um, I missed you guys. I've been busy catching up on things here at home, like laundry and such. So I have not been able to get on. This is, I'm gonna make this a short video, but I just wanted to tell you that I had a wonderful time. Um, if we are friends on Facebook, I did post some pictures on Facebook and you can see some of my cruise pictures. It's not all of them, but my favorites. Um, in front of you, I have my beautiful Michael, who is the Prince Henry. Um, and he was sculpted by Andrea Arcello. And then I have my beautiful Katie. And Katie was sculpted by um, Sandy Faber. And uh, she was reborn by Sherry Hawkins of So Lovely. Um, I don't know if it's So Lovely Nursery or it's... it's I can't remember. And then my Michael was brought to life by the wonderful Donna Rich over at Aunt Daisy's Nurseries from Reborns.com. So anyway, I have them here. I have to tell you after 10 days of being away from my babies, when I returned and I saw my babies laying there, I could not believe how real they looked to me. I mean, I was just like, wow, these dolls are amazing. They do look like a real baby. I think getting used to seeing them often, I kind of forget how realistic they are and what pieces of art they actually are. So anyway, I just brought on well, the other babies are out of the room, but these are my two most favorite babies. If someone were to say to me, you could only save two reborn dolls, Gina, all the rest absolutely must go. Even my limited edition, even I would keep Michael and Katie. And of course I would change Katie's name, but um, I'm fortunate that I am not in that position. And so I get to keep all my other babies too. And I am just loving it. But I want to tell you a little about my trip. We had, my friend and I had an absolute wonderful time. And I don't, I don't buy, um, large, souvenirs and I was told repeatedly by family and friends not to bring back any souvenirs for them if I wanted something to get it for myself and myself only so I did that with the exception of my grandson he did get a souvenir from his Nona so but our first stop I'm going to show you the souvenirs and I'm going to tell you about my idea my idea is um, a long time ago when I traveled, well, my idea is I'm going to get a magnetic board and not, ha you know, not the refrigerator or anything, but get a magnetic board and then look at thrift stores or estate sales or something and find a really pretty frame and put this, put that magnetic board in that frame and then I want to hang on a wall, probably probably in my hallway or in my bedroom or something, um, all the magnets from the places that I've been that bring me back happy memories. And, you know, it's something that I can add to if I travel more. Um, I started doing this a while back, but I because I used to always collect shot glasses and keychains. Well, the keychains have to be hung on something and the shot glasses need to be displayed 
and I decided magnets would be a lot easier because they're flatter. And so at any rate, um, that's what I did. So I'm going to show you a few of my souvenirs. There's not a ton, so I'm not going to bore you to tears, but I am going to show them to you and tell you what they mean to me. And we'll just kind of go from there. And I hope you enjoy seeing what I got from my little cruise travels. First of all, on the cruise ship, of course, they have a thousand activities. And we made these little buttons on the cruise. I hope you can see it. Uh, do I have it in focus? Not really very well. Where is it? There. Maybe there. Um, Gina, can you get it in the center? There we go. And it says cruise on it. And it says G and J because it was mine and Jane's birthday. And I drew the little horrid flower. And it says 60 and then B-Day and then 2023 on it um, as a reminder of why we took the cruise in the first place. And so this this is one of my little souvenirs that will sit in a drawer because it is a pin, but whatever. It was kind of fun. So that was one thing. Then our very first stop where we got to get, uh, get off port was in... Uh, here it is. It's St. Thomas. It was St. Thomas. And this is my little magnet from St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. And I got the little sea turtle. And I just, whoops, just dropped it on the floor. But anyway, that's that's the little, the little sea turtle. I'm going to let Michael hold it and hopefully you can kind of see it on him then um the next place that we stopped was in um Antigua and I always pronounced it Antigua and the locals there said that and our tour guy said, well, a lot of people pronounce it Antigua, but it's act and, and locals pronounce it Antigua. And so I have now been corrected and I understand that this is Antigua. And this is where I took my helicopter tour. And um, the blue represents the ocean blue and the color of the ocean that I saw when I was there. And of course the cruise ship. And so this little magnet that's what this little magnet is for. So there's my Antigua. And then we went to Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. And there, this is a magnet of Old San Juan. I hope you can see that clearly. I don't know that I'm... There we go. Um... And we shopped there and we went on a, um, the L U K N U K U N K uh, rainforest drive there and it was wonderful. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that. And in St. Thomas is where I did most of my my shopping, um, I did buy a few things actually off the ship, but most of my shopping was done in, um, was actually done in St. Thomas. And I picked up, you know, a few little things. This is also what I got in Puerto Rico was these Morocco's. These are from my grandson. They say Puerto Rico on them. They have the blue and the yellow and the purple. And then on top are sea turtles. So um, with these, I'm not sure what they use to seal the paint or what type of paint they use. 
So I'm going to tell my daughter to, because my grandson is still pretty, even though he's almost two, he's still pretty mouthy. I'm going to tell her to have him use these only under adult supervision. But he loves music, and he's going to have such fun shaking them. Um, so yeah, I, I got him those in Puerto Rico, and we're going to have Katie hold those for us. There you go, Miss Katie. That's my girl. You hold those for, for Mama. That's my girl. And then I went, the last place that we stopped before we headed back was the um, Dominican Republic or Republic of Dominican is I guess how they would say. So, but this is what I found fascinating were the huts and the colors and anyway that that's the magnet I picked up from there um and I know you know you're probably thinking those are pretty boring but they all bring back wonderful memories for me and you know like I said I'll I'll put them on a on a magnetic board in a pretty frame and one day you know I'll always be able to look back and remember that now another thing that was really fun is there was a, um, this stone that I had seen called a Malargo stone. And I did buy this in St. Thomas. And they showed me first like this gray rock. And then they showed it cut in half. And I got to see it almost looks like a blue and white marble on the inside and they were selling rings and whatnot and this this was my most expensive souvenir of my trip i brought back this gorgeous ring and it will always remember of me of the colors of the ocean and um yeah, I, I love this ring. So I got that for myself. I also, my friend Jane won this contest. There was this uh, very fancy stone that was even better than Tanzanite. And I think they called it Zuranite or something like that. And the colors were... were Amazing and like tanzanite will show two or three colors and this stone will show like seven or eight and They were not expensive, but anyway, they had a reveal and you could win a prize and my friend Jane actually Actually won this um, I don't know even know. Oh, I don't even know if you can see it at all um, Can you see that? At all. I don't even see it in the camera myself. Let's see. Are we still recording? Yeah. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. Anyway, she doesn't wear necklaces. And Jane didn't really like it. So she gave it to me. Um, but she had won it for free, so she wouldn't accept any kind of money. I just think it's pretty. So that's that's my little necklace and I don't think that that was the actual I think that's more of a tanzanite stone I don't think it's the stone that they were saying they were selling but that's okay then I got this they had a deal on the ship where they would give you hmm, let's see how did it work oh they would give you the, they would give you the bracelet itself for free. And then you bought um, the charms you could, you, for, you, you had to buy three charms, you could buy three charms at a time and they were $10 a piece. 
and after you had eight charms they would they would give you the the ninth charm of the little ship the little cruise ship here if i can get that into focus there the cruise ship for free well they then later and i wasn't going to do it but then later they had a coupon where they were giving you the bracelet for free and they were giving you five of the charms for free and then the other three were ten dollars so i got this entire bracelet with nine charms on it for twenty dollars and it has the ship and it has which i got for free and i got the little it has sunshine on it um, a little sunshine and the little palm tree and an anchor and a little beach chair and a seahorse can you see the seahorse yeah the seahorse and a camera for taking photos there's the little camera and a little fancy drink glass and just a little thing that says love all on it so yeah um and then of course this, so this i got this for 20 bucks so i was quite pleased and very thrilled to have this then here you go katie you get to hold most of the jewelry honey let's see well we'll put well we'll we'll try to put that like so i don't know if it's gonna stay maybe not maybe we'll just lay that on eh. i don't know katie we don't want to put that on your face we'll just lay this on your brother's leg ah! no stay there stay there stay there it doesn't want to it wants to roll all around it doesn't want to stay in place there okay and then oh yeah this this can this can just go right over here that's kind of silly and then the very last thing now these are very very pretty um they were inexpensive they were set in like uh well this says 14 karat gold but i think that's an overlay on it i don't and because these were very inexpensive rings i think they're just made of cut glass because I paid 20 a piece for them. They were, it was two for 40. But here is my little pink. If you can see it, there it is. My little pink ring. That's really pretty that I just loved. And people say, well, you, won't you have to dress up to wear it? No, I don't believe in that. If I have something pretty that I enjoy, I don't care if I'm in blue jeans and a t-shirt. I wear whatever ring I want to. So, and then the same with this one. And this is a little, like, like sterling silver, red, cut glass stone. I mean, these are nothing super you know, real or whatever, but they're pretty and I enjoy them. And so, yeah, I picked them up. So anyway, guys, those are my souvenirs. Um, the rings, yeah, I'm not going to probably have those. I'm afraid I'll lose them in the mist of things, but that's it. Um, those are my crazy souvenirs, which I didn't think my video would be this long. I thought I'd go through it much faster. And I'm glad to be back. And I hope that you are all having a wonderful and blessed weekend. And I will talk to you again very soon. And remember, no matter what you're going through, God is here for you and he loves you. 
and God bless. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.